Hello fellow adventurers and collectors, Fumahalik here, and today we're going to be going over some packages that I got in the mail. But before we get into that, I wanted to showcase some of the recent pickups I've gotten over the past couple of months. Starting off, we have this Danny Chu outfit from Culture Japan, and I've never had the Smart Doll branded clothing, and seeing this firsthand is very eye-opening because uh, it's definitely well-crafted and uh, a lot of care went into it. And I got this entire outfit in one lot, and from the same seller I actually got the wig. But something I didn't uh, see coming was the shoes. They're well-crafted and everything, but uh, they, I don't really like them. Uh, they're not my style, to say the least. Next up we have this Storm Collectibles Augustus Cull. Now I'm a huge Gears of War fan and it's been a long time since I've actually collected, you know, a smaller scale so I kind of felt like that CJ meme, you know, coming back into it but it's a very nice figure. I really hope they continue the line and I plan on getting more in the future. Now next up, I've been trading a lot of my 3A figures in turn for more of the robots and stuff like that because I've been trying to shift that collection towards World War Robot. So here are the three squares that I've gotten recently and the coolest one in the middle actually lights up. So that's something I didn't really see coming. And yeah these guys are pretty quirky and I got them to go with this guy. Now this was on my holy grail list for the longest time and it kind of sucks that um, it was a little bit of a letdown to, to be honest because I didn't think the figure was going to be that limited by the clothing that it has but there's nothing to say that I won't be able to kit bash something little, a little bit later on or something like that so I'm not too deterred by it and besides it's still a cool looking figure. Next up we have this Play Arts guy Marcus Phoenix. Like I said I'm a huge Cures of War fan so when I saw this auction on eBay I actually had to take the chance to jump on it. Now, I also want to bring up that I get a lot of my figures secondhand, so I seldomly have all the accessories, which I don't mind, you know, in the long run, that's stuff I can get later on. Now moving on to what you came here for, I actually got a BBTS unboxing to do for you guys. Now you've seen all the packaging before from many YouTubers, so I'm not going to get too in depth with it, but we'll jump into it and see what I got. Alright, so we all know what the BBTS card looks like, and it's basically just the typical releases coming out. So we'll put that off to the side to actually see what I got. Now I actually finished watching this anime series called Goblin Slayer, and I figured I'd pick up the Figma version of it. And uh, yeah, I thought it was a good series, enough to actually get a figure of it. And I got the substandard grade when it comes to this, because I don't mind the damage because I end up opening my figures anyway. So it's not a big deal to me. Now to go along with that figure, I actually ended up getting this Mythic Legions Ogre. It has a different name, but I'm trust me, you don't want me to butcher it. <laughs> but yeah, the box art is really astonishing and I, I was really impressed with the scale. And here you get to see the amazing artwork that's uh, adorned the box. And something that really caught me off guard is the actual um, excerpt on the back here that actually gives you some information about the lore behind the series. So yeah, this is a, a great design and I'm looking forward to actually opening it. Alright, starting off we have the Figma Goblin Slayer. Now I've only had experience with a couple of Figma amongst my collecting <laughs> endeavors, but this one is definitely up there when it comes to the quality and the paint job and everything. Something that really caught me off guard is the shoulder pads. I'm not really a fan of it, but you know, it's a great way to work around the, the bulbousness of the shoulder pads. Included in the Goblin Slayer box was this uh, the typical Figma stand hands, the attachment for the stand, and this little piece that I'm assuming is in case you lose it on the little one or on the belt itself because I didn't see anything missing from the, the figure itself. Moving on, we have the Mythic Legion's Ogre, and this figure is definitely a surprise. I honestly got it for an accessory for the Figma, but uh, all, in, all on its own, it's definitely a, 
a figure lineup that's piqued my interest. Included were these axes and accessories that can be used to modify and customize the weaponry that he has. So that's something I really do like about the line that I didn't really see, you know, I, I didn't really see coming. Now this is why I got the two together and it's just so cool to see these guys fighting and I plan on doing a bunch of photography with these guys, you know, outdoors and stuff like that. I even plan to make a diorama for it, but we'll see how that goes. Now moving along, I got a package from Amazon. So, you know, it's not the it's not that exciting so we'll move into the actual figures all right so first up we have the scarlet from the new gi joe classified series so yeah i've been struck or i've been smitten by the 112 scale again so here we go again collecting the six inch line now i'm really impressed with the box art and box design for these new figures because back when i was collecting this sort of scale they, they weren't um that elaborate and the next figure i actually got happens to be uh, Duke so like I said I'm really impressed with the box art and I know some people are complaining how you know they look futuristic and stuff like that and I could understand that sentiment because G.I. Joe was founded in realism and stuff like that so a part of me is torn that I don't like the new designs per se but there's nothing like a little customizing to fix things to your liking you know also I do admire the artwork on the box now first up we have Duke, and like I said, I've been away from 6 inch scale figures for a while, let alone Hasbro figures. So it's interesting to see how they've developed over the years, and in my absence they've actually improved a lot in terms of sculpt and painting and so on and so forth. So yeah, I'm probably going to have to customize this a little bit, but here are the, some of the accessories, and they lean heavily towards futuristic, which I don't really care for. So I'm probably going to get newer weapons that are more modern looking. But yeah, it's a decent amount of accessories coming along with it. Now moving on to Scarlet. I'm impressed and somewhat taken back by Scarlet when it comes to the design. I like the design overall, but I can't help but feel like it's inspired by Fortnite. And perhaps that's just me being, you know, overwhelmed with all the Fortnite stuff coming along. But it's, I just can't shake that feeling. But like I said, I can't help but think that I can actually customize it later on. Included with Scarlet were three knives and this bow, crossbow weapon. So I'm probably going to have to change these up a little bit later on. But if anything happens, I'll definitely make a new video about it. So yeah, that's pretty much all I've gotten in the past couple months. If there's anything you want me to actually go in depth about, feel free to let, uh, leave a comment. And I'll definitely cover it. So with that said, thank you all for watching. And until next time, I'll see you around.